this is this is your sight line right here. I'm going to try to move it back and forth so you can see. But basically, everything uh, everything is uh, happens off of a sight line. This this building is uh, the angle of that uh, of that roof goes here, and, and it would meet here, and this would be a vanishing point. Unfortunately, it's off the panel. And the same with this one. Uh, it would be right there. So everything has to uh, uh, emulate from, from that point. And if you want this to be fairly accurate, uh, this is a, this would be a two-point perspective. Uh, I don't have an example of uh, this would be maybe a one-point perspective here, where you know if you follow these this. You follow this line to, to where the where the eyes are. You know, it would be everything would emulate from the, from that point. How do you determine that? Uh, well, you you have to pick the vanishing point before you start. You know, you, you have to pick your sight line. A sight line normally I set it like you know, like around five feet. You know, eyesight. Uh, if you wanted to look down on something, obviously your sight line is going to be much higher. And uh, so, uh, well, you know, I, I I really don't have a, I could have brought a, I don't have a panel that I can uh, draw on to give you an example. Some, um, my, uh, I always forget this 
This is a uh, palette that's in here. It's a oh, I see. Okay. Classic okay. palette. But, uh, Lee, do you always use the same colors? Uh, yeah. Basically, the, the, these are colors that I that I normally use. It's a trial and error too. You don't uh, you don't always guess the color. Yeah, I didn't want a, I didn't want very high intensity one. Do you mostly work on a whiteboard and not treat it with a? Uh, yeah, this is this this is a gesso board. Uh huh. And um, I, I, I use a, a fairly light. Color uh, uh, wash to get my to get this you know kind of interest, and I, I also use my um, uh, towel because it it uh, helps. Why do you go so dark on the book style? Uh, this this particular one I am because I you'll see you'll see why when I get there. You know, every 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 one is different, and uh, you don't have to be too fancy. Well, you're first roughing this in. Uh, you basically just want to work with uh, basic shapes. Uh, key here is going to be what am I going to do uh, with uh, with the building? Whether I haven't decided whether I'm going to
And sometimes, you know, I will weave, uh, you know, <coughs> cross strokes in there, the transparent look, because it, it adds to the character. But, you know, this is an impressionistic painting. It's not intended to be like a photograph. When I do, I've been doing a lot of house portraits lately, and uh, I, I tell them right up front that this is not going to be a photograph, that, you know, I'm, I'm going to uh, do it as an impressionistic uh, painting. And, and everybody seems to like that. I mean, they, they, they don't want a photograph. They want a photograph, they hire a photographer. Very sloppy uh, person when it comes to my um, my uh, palette. I mean, some, some, and, and that's probably why I usually do paintings very fast. It's because um, I don't spend a lot of time. I just like to grab color and try things and. Not get too uh, wrapped up in it. <coughs> I hate to wrap it up. Put my gloves on. These are nice to have, especially with your left hand, because uh, you have your dirty uh, towel and everything to wipe it and then all the time. I usually use, just use it for that. I'm going to probably come back and darken all this again, but I, I just I need something to, to um, start with. I also, um, I don't know if you know this, but I, 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 like, I like painting from the back of the brush. I, I see a lot of people painting like this. And it, uh, I think it restricts you. I think, you know, if you, you hold your brush back farther, you, you get a little better sense of, like, like a, I think of it like a conductor, you know, conducting an orchestra. He's not going to hold his finger. 